There was a report very recently saying that by 2035, the Chinese will have taken over most of Australia's car market. Cars like this are the reason why. And the reason why the United States has banned Chinese vehicles pretty much permanently because no one can compete with this. I mean, honestly, $12,000 US for a car this good? I don't really understand why anyone thinks internal combustion vehicles have any chance in hell, particularly internal combustion vehicles made by European American companies. They're just way too expensive for what you get. And based on predictions that EVs will come down in price by another 40% over the next 10 years, um, I don't know how, if you're a legacy automaker, if you're Nissan, I don't know how you have any chance of survival. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Sakes Row. So Sake is a conglomerate in China, state-owned. They have several brands, including MG and IM Motors. This new plug-in hybrid has 2,050 kilometers of range, and it costs 12,000 US dollars. And as you can see, it actually looks pretty good. I mean, this is not a typo. It's 12,000 US dollars, 2,050 kilometers of range. And it's certainly not a bad looking car. It's not small. It's, I mean, guys, it's bigger than a Tesla Model 3. It's bigger than a BYD Seal. It's 4,940 millimeters long. It's basically the same size as a Tesla Model S. And it's, well, not even heavy. It's remarkably light for the size. Curb weight, 1,670 kilograms. I mean, that's less than three and a half thousand pounds for what is a big car. So what are you going to get for your $12,000? Well, apparently, if you pay an extra $2,000, pay, if you pay $14,000, you get an AI suspension. They call it AI MCDC. And this system can conduct 200 scans of the road surface every second and predict 15 meters ahead to actively adjust the suspension, according to the company. The entry-level version runs on 215 Eco tires. Uh, I believe there's also 225 tires for the uh, higher spec level. It gets level two advanced driving assistance and active safety features, including highway NOA, forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring. There's heaps of features with this car that are standard. It also has Sake's new, well, their new super hybrid system. So what, it, what it actually is this super hybrid system? Well, it's a 1.5 liter engine, front electric motor, 19.7 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. The engine is not, a, not very powerful, but it's more set up for efficiency. It's got 82 kilowatt, which is 110 horsepower, peak torque 135 newton meters. But the electric motor, that provides most of the power. It's got 137 kilowatt or 184 horsepower and 330 newton meters of torque. Meaning in total, from a 12,000 US dollar car, you're getting more than 200 kilowatt or nearly 300 horsepower. It's not fast, but it's not slow. Zero to 100 takes 7.9 seconds. Pure electric range is 160 kilometers CLTC, so probably about 120 kilometers WLTP. I mean, 120 kilometers of pure electric range for $12,000. And looking at the interior, you've got to admit it actually looks quite good. But before I get to that, total range, if you fill up the fuel tank, is 2,050 kilometers CLTC, probably about 1,600 kilometers WLTP. The fuel consumption is 2.9 liters. If you charge it, it takes 20 minutes to recharge the battery from 30 to 80%. That's one of the big downsides of plug-in hybrids. They always charge, pretty much always charge really slowly. E-Rev charging is almost always much faster. But, you know, for $12,000, you can't really criticize it too much can you inside you get a two-spoke multifunction steering wheel that's heated 10.25 inch lcd instrument panel 15.6 inch 2.5k central control screen which has better resolution 
than, for example, the touchscreens in a $70,000 Toyota. It also gets a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8155 chip and two wireless phone devices. The phone has connection to Oppo, Vivo, Huawei, Xiaomi, and Apple. Support for all those phones. ByteDance's Dubao AI model is, well, utilized to power the onboard AI assistant. So you can talk to the car using ByteDance's Dubao model, which is actually very, very intelligent. Now, apparently you can actually say to the car things like this, help me get my child to sleep. And if you say this, the car will automatically adjust the temperature to the right temperature for sleeping, which is cooler. Fan speed, it'll change. It closes the windows. It plays a story. I mean, it's a for 12 grand. I can't believe that the cars can do this now. It's remarkable. Boot space, 527 liters. There's 31 storage spaces. I mean, what more can you say for this price? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know what you think of the comments. I mean, about my prediction that Chinese cars will take over markets, whether allowed to, uh, like Australia, uh, Thailand, they're already doing it in Thailand, even though Thailand has its own car market to protect. But anyhow, I mean, I don't see how the West can compete with this. It's just, it's like, what do you do? What do you do? This is, I mean, the equivalent car from say, for example, uh, a legacy automaker is at least, at least two and a half times the price. It's so different and probably not as good. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount. 